So then, Tom, in the end, it did turn out pretty much as everyone had predicted. And I must say, I'm a bit disappointed about that because it has been a pretty poor year for the Brits. I said earlier that we were nominated in 23 categories. Actually, it was 25, and we still only won two. Um, why do you suppose that was? You know, uh, expectations were so high. Well, I think in many ways, with the, the British nominees, they all kind of fell victim to Hollywood political correctness. Mm. You really did see that in the Best Actor category, didn't you? Because Tom Hanks won. I mean, he did give a good performance. But I think if you look at the British and Irish nominees in that category, their performances were actually better. But of course, you know, the Oscars isn't uh, really evaluated on the basis uh, of performance. It's no, things it's like not. subject no. matter, whether you won before, yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah. And the other thing that did occur to me about, about tonight, maybe there's a backlash. You know, the Oscars have been presented to so many Brits over the last few years that possibly this year they thought, no, the hell with it, it's an American award, we'll give it to Americans. Do you think that's possible? I think that's very true, especially with Steven Spielberg, because he is the quintessential Hollywood American filmmaker, and there was definitely a, a really strong groundswell of opinion in this town that wanted to reward him tonight. Apart from anything else, nobody is going to vote against an extremely good film made about the Holocaust. Well, I tell you what, there are a lot of parties going on, and we are beginning one now. Let's uh, wander around town, see who we can meet. Enjoyed your evening. First of all, commiseration. Oh, well, so tough. You know, I, I can see it coming. Yeah? Oh. <laughs> oh. Are you being philosophical? Yes, I am, yeah. trying to be. Yeah, yeah. No, but I'm delighted for the film and for, for Schindler's List. Now, this, of course, is your first experience of mm. anything like this. What do you make of this ridiculous bun fight? Well, it's, uh, it's, a, it's an unusual experience. It's nothing I've, I haven't experienced anything quite like this before. But, um, I guess, you know. So. Well, let's hope you do many times again with slightly better luck in the, in the final result. Um, everybody connected with Schindler must be quite delighted this evening, aren't they? Yeah, we are, because it, it was a great feeling making the film, and there was a great sense that it was going to be something special. And I, I think it's wonderful to see it getting the, this response. Well, indeed, yes, yes. I would have thought that there'd have been a big celebration party specifically for the Schindler's people tonight, but I gather there isn't. Not that I've heard of. Yeah. Um, well, I'm sure they'd have invited you. No, uh, well, <laughs> you never know. <laughs> I'm sure they would, yeah. yeah. Uh, and what did you think of the things, of the results generally tonight? Did they go much the way you'd expected? Well, people always say the Golden Globes are kind of a good indicator mm. of what the Oscar results are going to be, and uh, I, I suppose that Tom Hanks was, was seemed to me yeah. the way the press was reporting it that it was pretty certain. Yeah. You never know, but um, I, I'm, I'm as thrilled for people like Mickey Khan, who edits Stephen's yeah. films, and. Uh, yes, and so John Williams, yeah, yeah. I, I think yeah. he's brilliant. He's, yeah. Well, it was nice to see you there the among the nominees. Me. Thank you. You personally, and better luck next time. Thanks, Barry. Yeah. How are you? Are you all oh, right? Uh, yeah, well, how are you? Are you all right? Because, you know, it was bad luck tonight to be a bridesmaid twice and never a bride on the same evening is a bit no, unfair. but I was a bride it? last year. It would be awful if had it happened again. It would have been awful. Can you imagine? It would have been lovely. No, it wouldn't have been. It would It would have been simply dreadful. I mean, all in sort of situation where you would just wish you were foreign, you know, so you could say, I, I sorry, excuse me, I don't know how, but thank you, you know, and go, you know. I, 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 it was great tonight, and I thought Anna Packham was just... She just was oh, so brilliant. Wasn't she nice? <laughs> yes. I mean, and coming off the stage to her mum with the award, yeah. and it, she was wonderful. Yeah, yeah. That was the, that was the, the lovely surprise of the evening, actually. Yeah, that mom, it was. It? But everything else seemed so predictable. You know, the, I've yeah, never known it's it so was. cut and dried. Have you? It was really cut and dried. It was very much as expected this year, I think. Yeah. Which I wonder was... why that was. Well, <clears throat> I mean, I, I mean, I, it's, it's not really as if there was there was just one good film and one good performance in each category. There were five good films and five good performances in each category. And I yet suppose everybody it could have gone. It, I suppose it could have gone anyway. But I, I don't know. I don't know why. I really don't know why. But I mean, it seemed to be exactly right to me. Where uh, the yeah, way I agree. it was, it yeah. seemed exactly yeah. right. And yeah. that Stephen got his. I mean, I went up to Stephen during the awards and said, "Excuse me." How many awards have you won so far? I mean, before Shinders this was up at all, you know. And he said, oh, I don't 
It's like, it was so wonderful to see him holding that award and saying, you know. Well, one in each hand, for I goodness know, sake. I know, I know. We went up to him in the governor's ball, he had like one cradle, like, you know, and another here. And it was just, it was great. I was so pleased for him because he's, I mean, it's a long overdue. Oh, oh yeah, it certainly is. But my word, they haven't they made up for it this year? They know, really I mean, have. They were lining up to throw prizes at. Eighteen awards or something. <laughs> and Guinness Book of Records stuff. That one. Oh, I think it probably it probably is. One of the more popular post Oscars parties takes place here at the Maple Drive Restaurant in Beverly Hills. It's hosted by Elton John, and the idea is to raise money for AIDS research. It supposedly attracts the politically correct Hollywood crowd. The big attraction here was Tom Hanks, star of Philadelphia, Hollywood's first big-budget AIDS-related movie. He was eager to explain his highly emotional acceptance speech. You gotta say something that's germane to the reason that you're there, and you gotta tell the truth. You can't, uh, can't turn it into some sort of foam moment where you just thank everybody who had any influence on you whatsoever. So uh, I, I narrowed it down and realized that I wouldn't have been standing there had it not been for the, these two guys that, uh, that were inspirations to me in high school when I was at those impressionable ages of 16 and 17. So I mentioned my drama teacher and an old friend of mine who actually is now dead of AIDS. And if I hadn't come across those gentlemen, I, I wouldn't be standing there today. It must have been really an emotional experience being up there, wasn't it? Well, it is. It is. I mean, it's a surreal moment and it's kind of a dream come true. And it's bizarre because it's, it's, it's so visceral, you know. You don't, you know, you imagine what it's like and then you're standing there looking at this thing. And uh, uh, what's important about it is the fact that I'm there for a very specific reason and that's the work that we all did in this movie Philadelphia and to be up there uh, you know identified with something that is I think as important and timely as that that makes me feel you know wonderful which even scares me even more the other Oscar winner who dropped in at the Elton John party was British animator Nick Park who won his yeah. second Oscar last night this year it was for his film called the wrong trousers which features two of his favorite characters Wallace and Gromit what happened? I mean, when they actually read out your name, what, what was going through your mind? Well, it's, I think it was the, the second most nerve-wracking experience I've ever had. Uh, the first one was last time. Um, it's just so nerve-wracking and it was... I mean, my palms were sweating, you know. And also, for the, for the half hour before the actual award was read out, I, I really believed that I wasn't going to win. You, d you did win an Oscar beforehand two years ago. Does this one mean more to you in a way? Um, no, I think I think it means about the same actually. But it's it's. Uh, I know I've already got one before, but it's uh, this is for a different film, and I also feel this is more for Wallace and Gromit as well. The, the two characters in Wrong Trousers. It's what do you think Wallace and Gromit would make of your Oscar night victory? Um, I think this, I think it was really grand actually. Uh, Wallace would really like like it. I think he'd relish in it. Gromit perhaps would frown and uh, look a bit disapprovingly of, of some of the things that go on, but. Uh, <laughs> Well, on a night when parties broke out like a rash all over town, I suppose the party to be at was this one at Morton's, hosted by Vanity Fair. You enjoy this evening, I had a apart, wonderful time. From, apart from not, not winning, on well, which, bad luck. But well, I, I got one two years ago, so can't complain. Yeah, but no, another one would look, look nice on the mantelpiece, one at each end. It's a bookend. A bookend, yeah. How about well, the evening? Did you... It was a good evening. What I liked about it, it was so fast. Yeah. It really zipped along. Yes, it did. And I thought Whoopi Goldberg did a great job. It's a great night for Spiel Spielberg. Yes, of course it was. Fantastic night. It wasn't a bad night for you when you come to think of it. I mean, both your leading ladies and your yeah. two films nominated. Not bad. It doesn't get better. No, what is it you've got? <laughs> Chum. <laughs> oh, that we always do. So how are how you? Are you? <laughs> I. Hey, how, what did you think of the Oscars tonight? I thought they were terrific. But, you know, what seems strange this year is that it was so cut and dried. Everybody seemed to know the results well, days ago. Well, of course, because those were the favourites and uh, yeah, the they favorite. were right. Well, Anna Paquin was quite a surprise. Yes, she was. She but, was but, a but surprise. Most of the others went according, entirely according to prediction. It doesn't always happen. Are you does saying it? that doesn't get ratings or sell tele television programs? Or well, I'm, I'm not too bothered about whether it sells television programs. Yes, you are. It, That's no, at I'm the not, bottom I'm of not, why no, you're I'm not. objecting I'm just, I'm just to the predictability no, not, of these wonderful. Are we going to have a fight here? No, I'm, I'm not objecting. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, was, I just thought it was strange this year because normally it doesn't go quite so. Um, well, but normally it's not it's not quite so predictable. But it was very predictable this year. Did it go the way you voted? Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Hey, commiserations on tonight. Oh, we won. What are you talking about? Well, yes, I know. The film won big, didn't it? But sure. uh, you must be pleased about that. I'm thrilled. And how it's about wonderful. You? Fellini called this a great circus, and that's exactly what it, it is. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Is this it's your wonderful. first time at the Oscars? First time, yeah. 
Do you want to come again? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> and, and a similar circumstance, of course, nomination. Nice to see you, yeah, it's good to see you too. How did you enjoy the evening? I thought it was great. It was a great show. Um, the best I can remember. I thought Whoopi was tremendous and gave Wasn't it a wonderful yeah. flavour. And what uh, about the results? I thought I was disappointed really on two of the results. Invidious to say which. But oh, I, come on, be invidious. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I think it's tough to win the Oscar too young. Yes. And I think there were a lot of supporting men I would have liked to have seen get the award, but that's always the yeah, way. Yeah. But otherwise, I think they were sort of as I expected. And right, I'm glad the piano got what it got. Yeah. I'm glad that Schindler's List didn't wipe the ball completely. Yes, that yes, that was a good thing, wasn't you know, it? They got because, seven, and, yeah. and, and that allowed other people to get things. It's greedy to get more than seven, anyway, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> I, <think. laughs> I mean, I envied Spielberg standing up there with a pair. I thought, yes, yes. in one but, go. Bookends, yes. bookends. But he's earned it, isn't he? As you've gathered, the film The Piano won Oscars for its star, Holly Hunter, for Anna Paquin, and for Jane Campion for her screenplay. And the piano people were busy celebrating at an eatery called Tattoo in Beverly Hills. I must say, I was really terrified about being here tonight and getting up and having to say anything, and I hadn't written anything down. You must have been really pleased when Holly Hunter won, weren't you? I was extremely pleased when both Anna and Holly won. Just like, I think, or well, very pleased with both of them, but it was such a sort of surprise for me in a way that Anna won, you know, and how darling she was about it. She was really dumbfounded, wasn't she? I think she just didn't quite know, you know, like, was she supposed to speak over the clapping or was she supposed to wait? And it was just like, ah, ah, ah. It was perfect. Were you a bit cynical about the Oscars in the past? Oh, God, yeah. I mean, you know, you're in art school and film school, you just think it's like, you know, a big glitch show. Oh, look what they're wearing. Ah, ha, ha. No. And are you cynical tonight? No, I was scared tonight. It wasn't, no, there was nothing cynical about me, just the fear. And so we come to the end of a night on which Oscar decided to celebrate America. Most of all, of course, it celebrated the work of Steven Spielberg. Two personal awards for him, eight others shared between his films, Schindler's List and Jurassic Park. And how did he himself celebrate this remarkable success? Well, as a matter of fact, he went home with his wife and his mum, presumably for a mug of cocoa and an early night, only in Hollywood. Still, it does seem fitting to leave the last word with him. Goodbye. I'd just like to say to the survivors who not only were f are following this evening, but followed the production and gave their cooperation to Thomas Keneally and then to Stephen Zalian. I mean, they, they have their hands all over these Oscars, and their fingerprints will be on these Oscars forever, and I thank them very much. This film has enjoyed so much acceptance internationally, here and abroad, that, you know, this is, this is just a wonderful, this is like the Academy saying, you know, we take the Holocaust and we take what the subject matter of your film is about and we acknowledge it and we represent it. And that's our reward. I glory and lust in the respect people have about the success of a lot of my films, but this defines success in a different way for me, in a way that is very personal, as Oscar Schindler was a personal story for me. And that this came with this movie, to me, is the miracle. I'm so happy this happened with Schindler's List and not with anything else. I have a great imagination, so I've dreamed this moment many, many times. But, um, but I, I actually had reconciled my life. I had actually reconciled my life not to... I mean, in other words, I, I could have dealt with never winning an Academy Award because I had practiced dealing with it for the last 12 years. <laughs> so, this was, so this was a wonderful honor tonight. Um, if I hadn't gotten it, I probably would have been shattered. But... Uh, <laughs> but it, I have been in th these boats before, and uh, I've been nominated before. This is, I think, my fourth nomination, and it's just great to win. I mean, it's just wonderful to win.